Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela and this is my accountability for my low buy. But really what I'm saying is I have a haul. I do. Okay, so the lay of the land here is $13.95 candle sale. They also gave us a 10 off of 30 coupon in our little rewards thing. I also had a coupon in my app for a free body care item up to $9.95. So I had been like sitting on that for so long. I'm surprised it hadn't expired. I also took my Sweetheart Cherry Fine Fragrance Mist back. I returned it because I don't know if anybody watched my video. I had hauled three of them. I had given one away. And so I had two for backups. Well, I don't, I didn't need two for backups. Like I did not need two for backups. I, I don't even need one for backup, but I could justify one for a backup. <laughs> so long story long, I decided I was, well, I had kept it to set to the side with the receipt and everything. I, but I decided today was the day it was going back. <laughs> My whole entire house is getting over being sick still. So that's been a lot of fun. So I probably sound nasally, but it's fine. It's <laughs> Let's get into my little haul here. I got a bunch of candles, but first we're going to start with the body care item that I got for my food coupon, the $9.95, $9.99, whatever. Got the Daffodil Daydreams. I don't have the notes for the body care on hand. So editing Angela, we'll put it on the screen. <clears throat> I didn't smell this. Okay. I, I had known that I wanted to buy this. I wanted to get it. I almost placed so many orders on so many occasions, but I haven't still. So, but I know, I knew that I wanted to try this out. I hadn't been in store to smell it or anything at any point yet. Today was the first day I had been in store in a long time. Well, I heard it's coming out in full size. So that really put me in a pause for the whole mini size. And I just, but you know, with the free item, coupon that I had up to $9.95. So like, so with this being for free, I'm not mad about it. I don't need the full size. Also that being said, I didn't, I didn't spray this. I haven't sprayed it. I haven't smelled it. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I like it on me better. Okay. I'm not mad about that. That's cool. I don't know what the notes are. And after my Scentsy video, I'm not guessing notes without knowing what they are. I'm not doing that shit. I'm not good at it. So <laughs> I like it. I enjoy it. This is a win. Hopefully I can make some progress on it and eventually get it out of my collection. I'm sure at SAS in the summertime, they're going to have some the Daffodil Daydreams. So I don't need to worry about just like hoarding onto it. I'm hoarding onto it hoarding it. I just hoarding onto it. That was a funny word, but <clears throat> you know, I, I'm not mad that I didn't wait for full size and I don't know how many more times I'm going to be in store. I'm going to quit rambling. Okay. I'm going to pull out these candles first. Cause that bag is loud and annoying. Okay. I'm going to hold on to my receipt. Hold, you'll see why. My dogs, I swear to God, I don't know. They hear me talking and they're like, I need to act a fool also. <sighs> if it's not the dogs, it's the kids, I swear. So with my 10 off of 30, it made the candles $11.95. So, I mean, I'm that's not that bad. I that's That's a good price to be paying. So like, although I am on a low buy right now, I'm not really mad at my, like I'm, I'm being harsher on myself. Like I'm not like, woohoo, look at this gigantic fun haul. I'm like excited about the haul and I'm like happy about it and stuff, but I'm not like, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of myself for my haul. I'm also not mad at myself for my haul. Like I said, I'm on a low buy. So $11.95 for candles, I'll take it. Okay, so why don't we start with the reason why I wanna hold on to my receipt. I picked up two of these Happy Easters, which is the Daffodil Daydreams. And it has notes of whipped marshmallow, pastel clouds, and sweet daffodil. The packaging on this is super duper cute. I had also, just like the Fine Fragrance Mist, I had known that I 
wanted the candle. I had, I'd, you know, I had at least known I had wanted to smell it. I had known, and I was like, if I want, this was, okay, so here, this is like real talk right now. With my shopping addiction mentality, I was like, I'm going to need two of these. Like, I'm going to need two. So I went in the store with the mindset that I was going to get two of these. And that it was just going to happen. <laughs> I was just going to get two. I picked one up. I put it in my basket. I picked up the second one. I smelled it. I was like, you know, I do need to. I do need to. So I put it in my basket. But now that I'm at home, I don't need to. I do not need to. I did not need to. I mean, this is cute. The little bunny. This is cute. The little packaging of it is super cute, but... I do not need to. I might hold on to my receipt. I I have light bulbs going off in my head actually. I uh, you know what? I don't know. I'm pretty likely only going to keep one of these in my collection. I'm actually probably going to burn one. That's that's actually what I'm going to do. Probably after this video I'm going to light this one up. <laughs> Potentially. I can't smell very well right now. I don't know how well any of my kids or anybody else can smell right now, but I don't know that I'm going to burn it right now. Burning this in the next couple days will really give me a chance to know if I want to keep the other one. Off the gate, I don't think I do. I just don't think I do. So I just shopping addiction me and not shopping addiction me are two different people apparently, but it's fine. Okay, so this one I wasn't sure I was going to like either. It's the Hummingbird Tea Cake. I do enjoy the packaging on this. The notes say pineapple cake batter, cinnamon spice, and toasted pecans. Okay, that's not, I don't know why I was like mentally against it, but I just, that smells fantastic. That smells super fantastic. I love pineapple. But it has the cinnamon in it. It like balances it out so it's not like super sweet. But it's not like super fall with the, the cinnamon. But that one was, I smelled that one and I smelled the honeysuckle whatever it was. I don't remember what it was called. But that, no. I have the under the magnolia tree and that one's super floral and that one's hard enough for me to burn so I did not need that one when I smelled it but those were the only two my store had left but this one I also knew I was going to get it's the Paris Cafe in the like bakery collection that they came out with this year the jar of this is very weird but the notes are rich roasted coffee sugared brioche and vanilla creme I do have a Paris Cafe in my collection, but I totally knew when I saw this jar, I was like, man, that's so cute. I knew that one was one I wanted to pick up. I didn't know if it was going to be at SAS or not, but I just, I don't even know if it'll make it to SAS because it's Paris Cafe, but who knows. Okay, so the last candle that I picked up, I hadn't expected to like it. I actually had wanted it, like I knee jerk wanted it, but then I thought about it and I was like, no, let's think about the notes. And let's make a logical decision. Like if I were to buy it online, I wouldn't buy this one. Based on the notes, I would not buy this one. But alas, I did not buy this online. I was in store, so I was able to smell it. It's the Cherry Blossom Pound Cake. This has notes of Cherry Blossom, Whipped Pound Cake, and Vanilla Frosting. You know, I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't heard that many people talking about it, but Japanese cherry blossom is really not my favorite. Cherry blossom scents in general just aren't my favorite, but it definitely has a sweet, like a more gourmand scent to it. Like it has very, very florally. You know, I'm not mad about it. It balances it out pretty well between the floral and the sweet. I'm definitely not mad about it. Blind buying this was a no-go for sure because strawberry pound cake is something that I do not enjoy at all. So 
That was why I was really unsure I was gonna get that one, but alas, I liked it, so. I wasn't actually sure I was going to have time to be able to film this video, but it worked out. Everybody was asleep and quiet, so we're good. I don't, like I said, this is my low buy accountability post for me because I am on a low buy and I am trying to not buy that many things and I am going to not have two daffodil daydreams in my collection. Although I did purchase two, I'm not keeping them both. I just, that's not, it's just, I, I'm going, okay, ultimately I need to burn it first and see how I feel about it before I actually decide to keep the second one or not. So that is to be determined. <laughs> okay, I am going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching my haul for my low buy accountability that I'm doing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everybody has a great day. Until next time.